Hey guys, it's Chris, and in this video, we're going to take a look at the Roker Sim Pro 2 buoyancy shorts. So these are them, just arrived. Roker do two sets of buoyancy shorts. They do the Elite and they do the Pro. They're both now in their second edition. If you're wondering what the difference is between the Elite and the Pro, the Pro is slightly more buoyant, and I think it's got a better drawstring at the top maybe don't quote me on that it's not really clear from their website i spoke to their customer service the main difference for me was that the pro was a bit more buoyant so if you if you haven't heard of buoyancy shorts they're basically to make your position more like it looks in when you're in a wetsuit because a wetsuit provides a lot of buoyancy and so if you're the water's like that and you're swimming like that the wetsuit will help you get that streamlined position so you go faster, make it easier to swim. But in the pool, it's really difficult. If you're not a great swimmer, not a strong swimmer, you just tilt backwards and that just ruins your swim. So the idea is that these buoyancy shorts will give you a similar position to what you get in, the, in a wetsuit so that you can practice like it's actually gonna be for the race. Roker do some really nice packaging. Here we've got a little envelope. It reminds me a lot of, I've said this in previous videos, but it reminds me a lot of the way Apple package products, they really put the time in. So that's just a little sleeve with the returns label. And here we've got our shorts. They're only in one color, I believe. So you might want to pick whether you want the Elite or the Pro based on which colour you like and the men's and women's slightly different colours as well. Take those out. Now the Roka say they're quite rugged and they will survive in the pool, that's where they're designed for. If you're a triathlete I'm guessing you are if you're watching this video you'll probably know it's super easy to tear your neoprene wetsuit I on average do one tear once I made it through a race without any tears and then the next race I put two tears in it so I'm constantly gluing mine back together with with the neoprene glue the special glue you use on wetsuits I'm hoping it won't be the same for these but I don't know. So they're quite they're quite chunky things. My other question before I got these was how would these compare to a wetsuit? Because obviously a wetsuit provides buoyancy, but it, you're wearing it's all over your body, so that's a lot of buoyancy. So are these just really thick? Feels very thick, and is that going to mean I'm overheating downstairs? Could be a danger. So they're quite. They're quite big, they're bigger than my swimming shorts. The Pro are done out in the little yellow motif, but nothing too offensive. Look in the top, we've got this drawstring here. And then on the bottom it's just cut off, there's no, there's no extra seals or anything like that. So next thing, I will stick these on and I will show you what they look like when they're actually on a human being. So here are the Roka Sim Pro 2 shorts on me. And I picked a really bad time in the season to demo these, I think, because I'm carrying a bit of weight here. But a couple of things I noticed. So one, they were really hard to get on. They're very snug fitting. Roka say on their website that they do relax in the water. So I, th I think I went for the small. In fact, is it on this tag? E yes, I went for the small, which I, <laughs> this is gonna sound really offensive, but I kind of assumed that the other side of Atlantic, everything sized a bit bigger. Um, so, cause normally I would be a medium here in the UK, but according to their size chart, I was a small and it does fit okay, it's super snug and it was a real effort to get on i was panting after it but that's exactly what i would get with a real wetsuit that's a, i've got like a zone three and it's a mission to get on as with all wetsuits 
and it was a real struggle to pull them on and I find I had to pull this was the bottom of it was getting stuck and I had to pull this up and pull up the top it was really like putting on a wetsuit which essentially it is a wetsuit right because it's just a neoprene material it does have a drawstring which is nice Rokas say that it will relax a bit in the water so it's good to have it a bit tight at first I'll give you a I'll give you a close up of the shorts might suck in my belly while I do this so snug fit sitting juts juts a bit low it would be nice if it came up a bit higher but it's it's high enough in the crotch i have to ignore my, my clip-on microphone which is in the way next thing once i've got them on let's go try them out in the pool and see how much of a difference they make Hey guys, first swim is in the bag. Just to give you a bit of background, the reason I wanted the buoyancy shorts was that my front crawl, my freestyle is rubbish. And so whenever I do it in the pool, I just sink. And so I use a mixture of, when I'm in the pool, I just do breaststroke. And then in races, I do some breaststroke and some front crawl. And my front crawl is pretty rubbish because I haven't done any of the technique drills and practiced any of the technique in the pool because I just sink in the pool. So that's what I was doing it for. In terms of the swim, I just I did a warm up with breaststroke because that's my normal thing. And they were a bit uncomfortable, to be honest. Like just doing the leg action with breaststroke was quite tight. They were really tight around my just uh, my thighs and it wasn't super comfy i know some people have said that uh, they get water going kind of down their ass crack when they kick off as well that happened a tiny bit i don't think it was a real problem and i think if i was super strict with the draw cord then that might have not been a problem but that would have made them even more uncomfortable but on the plus side, I could genuinely feel them giving me buoyancy. So I could, every time I did a stroke, I could feel my ass being pulled up towards the top. And I kept kicking the kind of ropes that mark off the lanes. So my the back of my body must have been quite high. It was difficult to see when you're staring forward swimming, but it must have been fairly high because I kept kicking the, the pull ropes. So then I moved over to doing some front crawl some freestyle which i almost never do in the pool because it's so rubbish but i do it when i'm doing my open water sessions because it's so much easier to do in a wetsuit and again these massively helped a lot i'm exhausted after like 50 meters in the pool because i i just have to keep going so fast to keep myself to stop myself sinking that i'm i'm just absolutely knackered and they're they're definitely an improvement i don't think it's quite as easy as doing it in a full wetsuit but i was able to do it without dying of exhaustion so they've definitely been a massive improvement there and a lot of the discomfort i was getting when i was doing breaststroke wasn't there when i was doing front crawl so early indication from the first swim i'll see how they go is that they're good for practicing if you're doing front crawl, which is no surprise because that's what they're intended for. That's what all almost all triathletes do. If you're a breaststroker wanting to improve your breaststroke, then they're, they're maybe not for you because they're not super comfy there. Chances are you're a triathlete who wants to improve their freestyle, in which case they seem like a good option. But I'll report back again when I've done some more swimming in them. Just done another swim session with the Roker buoyancy shorts. Super impressed. So I, I really struggled to get them on. Again, it's like trying to get into a wetsuit. You really have to pull them up. And I just couldn't get them high enough. And I don't know if I need to get into the water first so that they relax, but I did try and readjust them in the water and struggled as well. So they didn't feel like they were high up enough. But in terms of swimming, it just makes it so much easier. 
Normally I'm constantly swapping between front crawl and breaststroke and I really don't do that much front crawl freestyle but in this swim session I did about half an hour, about a thousand meters um, just kind of continuous like uh, people get in your way and obviously you're turning around every 25 meters in the pool but managed to keep that up the whole time and that's that's even better than I normally do in a wetsuit where I'm just messing about between the two. So being able to stick with the front crawl and just work on the drills and work on my technique has been really been super useful. If if it works out, I think this could be a game changer. So pretty impressed with them so far and hopefully that will continue. Two things to wrap up this video with. One, I've been swimming in the shorts for a month or two now, still enjoying them, still great. Haven't ripped them, that was my main concern and so far they've been fine, so great. Second thing is I have a bunch of triathlon videos on my channel, so if you found this video useful please hit subscribe and those videos will appear in your feed.